Welcome to this presentation in which I'm going to be looking at using Google Presentation as a desktop publishing tool. And the, my thinking behind this is that uh, if I'm wanting to present graphics and annotate them with arrows and text boxes using, for example, Google Docs, it's not really that straightforward. As I insert images into a Google Doc, um, it tends to move the text around or cover text, and I can use things like Word Wrap to try and organize things, but then as I enter text above an image, it can also mess things up too. So the key thing about a desktop publisher, and I'm thinking about old programs like Microsoft uh, Publisher, is that if you place some text on the on the page on the A4 document, um, and then you add like a text box next to it, um, then you can add other things before or after that or around it on the page, and the location of the text and the images does not change. And I'm going to try and use Google Presentation here to recreate that kind of effect. So here I am in Google Presentation. And uh, what I want to highlight here is the fact, of course, that this is designed to work on a screen. So by default here, we have a 16 by 9 ratio slide layout. Now what I want to do is change this so that it is going to be um, A4 size and A4 in portrait. So I'm going to go to file here, I'm going to go to page setup, and I want to change it from standard wide screen, and I can go with other different formats here for, for, for standard screens. I'm going to go to custom. I'm going to change the uh, measurements, the units here to centimeters, and I'm going to put in here the size of an A4 sheet. Now an A4 sheet has got a width and x value here of 21 centimeters. Bear in mind this is centimeters, not millimeters here. Um, so if you've been working with 2D design, then don't get mixed up. Um, and the height of this is going to be 29.7 centimeters. If I apply that now, then instantly I get, well, what is clearly or appears to be an A4 sheet of paper in portrait mode. So I'm going to do a little bit of formatting with this. Let's have a look here. If I go to slide, I'm going to go to apply slide, and let's go with something that's going to have just a title. Let's just go with that. Okay, so let's add a title in here, and this is going to be um, exploring my CAD files. So this is where I'm thinking um, I might be able to use um, Google presentation as a desktop publisher. Let's say, for example, I had some CAD files. I wanted to present them and print them out, and I wanted to annotate those CAD files easily. So there's my um, there's my my title. Uh, let's just bring up a CAD file here. I'm going to work with this one, and I'm going to work with the snipping tool. Um, so I'm going to type on the Windows key here. Just type in snip. Okay. Uh, here is okay. So here's my snipping tool. I'm going to click on new. And I'm now going to drag a box to show my CAD files. Now, do I just do I just show this? I could do that, couldn't I? Let's just try again. Uh, let's try and select also perhaps with a toolbar here. I don't know. I mean, do we want to select everything? Do I want to zoom in? How do I want to manage this? Maybe I just want to do that. I'll go with that. Okay, maybe then I can highlight a few things on here perhaps. Okay, so with this, let's there's my image. Let's just click on the copy here, those two sheets of paper. And then I'm going to just minimize this and I'm going to minimize 2D design and I'm going to come back to my uh, Google presentation. So let's just paste that in, edit paste or control V. There it is. Um, and if I click off there, you can see how basically it kind of blends into the background. So what I actually thought about doing uh, in my kind of precursor to this video was perhaps putting on a little border here and perhaps making that into like a, I don't know, a little dotted border so it kind of stands out. Uh, if I click on the image here again, I can try a few different effects there. Um, and uh, I don't know, that's up to you, your choice. Um, and then let's see, what else am I going to do here? Let's add a text box up here. Let's drop it down here and let's add some text. So I'm going to put here, uh, you can see that, whoops, uh, this line uh, indicates, okay, blah, 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 I won't go any further. So there's going to be my little text box. I can resize this accordingly. I can move it around. I can even rotate if I wanted to as well. I won't do that. I don't think I'll undo that. And now I'm going to get the line tools, and there's a line tool with an arrow, which means now I can connect from this point, click, and then drag in and indicate what I'm referring to on the image. Um, so that's basically the idea behind the concept. What's interesting here as well is I can go to my themes on the side here. I can come down um, and I can select some interesting themes. Let's go with a crazy one. How does that one look? Oh, that looks crazy, but it's a bit disappointing, really. How does that look? No. 
anyway you can kind of have a little look around there and see if anything takes your fancy um, and as well of course I might just want to resize the location or reposition the title there move things around I can select things and, and move them all uh, together etc so this is a really nice way of me being able to uh, kind of collate ideas graphics annotations together like a desktop publisher but uh, overcoming some of the restrictions that we have with Google Docs and if I can just show you here if I come to the print options okay um, that's effectively oh, let's just bring this down here can I bring this down it's just it's just slightly off my screen there I think but um, I've, I've, I've explored this and I found that out that it does actually have a little bit of a print margin around the edge of roughly about five millimeters but otherwise all the graphics would be appearing on the screen so don't take your graphics right up to the edge always leave like a little five mil margin around the outside